Some of the shenanigans and troubles on the Game of Thrones set are almost equal to the trials and tribulations of Westeros itself. Even if you don't watch Game of Thrones, the Iron Throne is cool. Anyone who sits on it is going to look like royalty. But according to NBC, there actually was one person who turned down the opportunity to sit on the Iron Throne. Elizabeth II, the Queen of England. There are some photos of the Queen standing next to the Iron Throne at least. But who are we kidding? No one wants to see the Queen standing next to the Iron Throne. It was like the world's most amazing photo op and we got nothing. Importing live horses is banned in Iceland due to fears about diseases being transmitted to local breeds. The production crew was forced to use native horses, which are about the size of ponies. Having 6'5 actor Rory McCann riding such a small mount would have looked ridiculous, which is why the Hound and Arya Stark spend so much time walking to the Vale. Any scenes with horses film the beasts in the distance. Maisie Williams was probably lucky Icelandic horses are comparatively small, considering she once fell off her horse when she got her foot caught in the reins. She described the situation to the Huffington Post post with a charming offhandedness. Yeah, it was really funny actually. My leg was like caught up by my ear and I was like, oh, brilliant. Sansa Stark is famous for her love of lemon cakes, but it took a bit out of poor Sophie Turner. According to actress Kate Dickey, who played Aunt Lysa, Turner had to eat an unreasonable number of lemon cakes in the filming of an emotionally complex season 4 scene. I didn't mean for you to stop. Go on, enjoy them. In that season's DVD commentary, Turner revealed her disgust with fans sending her lemon cakes because I hate lemon cakes, I can't hate a cake more than lemon cakes, and I had to eat like 50 of them. Rory McCann, meanwhile, suffered with fake ale. It took between 10 to 12 takes to nail the scene where Hound takes Paul Lover's drink, with McCann downing a flagon of food coloring spiked water each time. Immediately after the last take, McCann ran outside and threw up. Joseph Alton and Mark Stanley, who play the Night's Watchmen, Pip and Grin, were required to eat some gruel in the castle black mess hall. Production designer Gemma Jackson made it as disgusting as possible and didn't tell them. Elton refused to eat it entirely, and Stanley made a great effort but couldn't bring himself to swallow. Bananas are a rare commodity in Westeros, which makes banana the perfect code word because it's not likely to randomly show up in a script. Stunt coordinator Rowley Earnham told Entertainment Weekly that everyone involved in potentially dangerous stunts knows to use banana as a safe word. When we're doing these battles and people are screaming and crying and dying, you might not know if anyone's in trouble, so our safe word was always banana. If someone started shouting banana at the top of their voice, you know they're in trouble. According to Entertainment Weekly, Jon Snow actor Kit Harington got a fake script for the episode where he uses fire to protect Lord Commander Mormont from a white. In the fake script, it isn't just the white that burns. Jon gets caught in the flames too, burning off all his hair and melting the skin on his handsome face. Harrington arrived for the shoot, and co-showrunner D.B. Weiss explained that HBO wanted to do something about the fact that his character was, quote, to Harry Potter. He said, We kept this up until we started laughing. He was a remarkably good sport about the whole thing. In the second season, producers chose Alfie Allen as a target for a prank. According to Entertainment Weekly, producers sent Allen a fake season finale script where Bran Stark stabs his character Theon in the heart and reclaims Winterfell. Alan told the magazine, I thought it was cool. I went on holiday and showrunners were all thinking I was going to call up going, hold on a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. But I just got on with it. They had to make it clear to me later on it was all a joke. Watch his dead blade never die! Watch his dead blade never die! In 2017, Kit Harrington told Jimmy Kimmel that showrunners regularly practiced deception to throw off overenthusiastic fans who hike for miles to take set photos and hack computers to steal scripts. We did fake some scenes. We, uh, we put together people in situations where we knew the paparazzi was around. They even went so far as to dress Sabelle Kakilia as a long-dead character Shay so spies would think she was going to be resurrected. In recent years, there haven't been any paper scripts, for example, because it's too easy for scripts to leak. Sophie Turner told Digital Spy that the actors would get their pages on an app the day before shooting, so we would have to learn it all the day before. And once you've read it, it disappears 24 hours later, and you can never access it again. It's tighter than the White House security. No one even really knows ahead of time who is going to be on set. The call sheets list actors by code names, so no one can obtain any clandestine information about which characters are going to be interacting in a particular shot. Sansa and Arya are sisters, and their on-screen contentious relationship goes back a long way. 
but Sophie Turner and Maisie Williams have a very different relationship in real life. Turner told Glamour, People always think Maisie and I are a couple. I mean, I am obsessed with her, so you never know. Williams and Turner describe themselves as best friends, and they say it's been that way since they met during Game of Thrones auditions at the ages of 12 and 13. And when they're on set, they aren't above pranking everyone with some pretend romance. Turner says the two tried to sneak kisses into their scenes. Williams told Glamour that she doesn't expect she and Turner will ever be reunited on screen. Everyone on set is sick and tired of us being so loud and laughing so much. Game of Thrones will be some of the funniest days of my life. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about Game of Thrones are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.